Welcome to the Breslin Center at Michigan State University in East Lansing. Xfinity presents high school sports. Today it's the Michigan High School Athletic Association Class A Girls Basketball Semifinal where the Gross Point South Blue Devils defeat the Dexter Dreadnoughts by a score of 48 to 29. And welcome inside the Breslin Center to the best seat in the house right here at center court of the MHSAA Championships along with the Detroit Mercy Titans standout Bernie Foose. I'm Joe Jason. Thanks for joining us for this one. Emma Kill led the way for this team today for Dexter, but it was Gross Point South and uh, it was Sierra Rice. Really, she was the came up super big in this game to lead her team to the victory. Well, Gross Point South, they get after you defensively. They forced 27 turnovers in the quarterfinal game against Marion. They forced 22 today against Dexter. Tough matchup. They got great players. You talk about Sierra Rice. She had 21 today. Great through three quarters. Really just a tough team to match up with when they're hitting on all cylinders. Dexter had the work come out, cut out for them. They played hard, they played strong, but just not enough to carry the day today. Well, the intentions were good for Dexter. Come out and slow things down. That lasted about 90 seconds. <laughs> and then it was an eight nothing run by Gross Point South to wind up taking the lead and nine to two, and they never look back. Let's take a look at the highlights of today's contest. We'll start with action in the first half and in the first quarter. There well, you Joe, see, you know, don't, don't cut them short. It wasn't 90 seconds, actually four or five minutes of All that right. first quarter. Dexter actually had the lead, two points to one. It was going in their favor. But Gross Point South, they got up on it. They got the ball to Sierra Rice. Those last two, three minutes and into the third quarter, it was all Gross Point South. Forcing turnovers, getting in passing lanes, getting easy transition buckets. Dexter just, they could not put the ball in the hoop. They only had 10 points in that first half. Tough to beat anybody when you only score 10 points in the first half. Some of those turnovers, and Andrew's going to work with the lay-in there. And here goes Sierra Rice. And she had a great game. At one point, she was 9 for 11. Spin moves, phenomenal moves. Only a sophomore. That's the scary thing. She's going to strike fear into all the coaches in high school these next two years. And I can't wait for the championship game, Joe. we got Sierra Rice, only a sophomore. Abby Cole for Grand Haven. It's going to be phenomenal. Here's Andrews again. Pulled up elbow, left elbow. Hits the bucket right there. They'd actually play even through the third quarter. And uh, what would happen is Dexter would score as many points in that third quarter as they scored the entire first half. Yeah, they scored 11 in the third, and you, you thought they had some momentum going into the end of the third quarter. They got a few baskets, but then again, to end the third quarter, see your right. Start the fourth quarter, see your right. You throw in a few more players, and they were just had it rolling. They were hitting on all cylinders, and you play a tough team like that who's been here before. They have the experience. They're ready to rock and roll. They took charge, and they got it done here tonight. You see eight more field goals for the Blue Devils in this game, and they won the uh, rebounding battle as well, and uh, they won the turnover battle as well. More turnovers for Dexter in this game. Steals were even at 11 apiece. And so with the victory, Gross Point South will advance, and they will take on the Grand Haven Buccaneers in the Class A final, and that will be coming up on Saturday. Your final once again here at the Breslin Center, 48-29, Gross Point South over Dexter. You've been watching Xfinity High School Sports and the Michigan High School Athletic Association Class A girls basketball semifinal, a presentation of Play on Sports Midwest.